Now let's answer some questions about the story. In the previous video you learned new words and you read the story The Tailor and His Friend. Now let's answer some questions about the story. Who is Kalu? To answer this question, I will have to go back to the textbook and I will read. Kalu the tailor had a shop near the river. So now I know that Kalu is a tailor. So I will go back to the question and write my answer in the book. Kalu is a tailor. Who is Apu? To answer this question, I will go back to my textbook and I will read. Apu the elephant was his friend. From this I understand that Apu is an elephant and he is Kalu's friend. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Apu is an elephant. He is Kalu's friend. Where is Kalu's shop? To answer this question, I will again go back to my textbook and I will read. Kalu the tailor had a shop near the river. From this I know that Kalu the tailor had a shop near the river. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Kalu's shop is near the river. What trick did Kalu play on Apu? To answer this question, I will go back to my textbook and I will read. One day, Kalu wanted to play a trick. He did not give Apu anything to eat. He took out his needle instead and pricked Apu's trunk. From this I know that Kalu pricked Apu's trunk with a needle instead of giving him food. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Kalu tricked Apu by not giving him food but instead pricking him with a needle. How did Kalu's clothes become wet? To answer this question, I will go back to my text and I will read. Two days later, Apu came down to the river and filled his trunk with water. He reached Kalu's shop and threw water everywhere. All the new clothes became wet. Now I know that Apu threw water everywhere with his trunk and made all the new clothes wet. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Apu filled his trunk with water and then went to Kalu's shop and threw the water everywhere. This made all the new clothes wet. The tailor had a shop near the river. Let's read the question. Where is your house? Now let me think. This is a picture of my house. I live in this building and I live near the sea. So I will write the answer in the blank. The sea. Because my house is near the sea. You write what your house is next to in the blank. Let's say these words aloud. Jam. Jeep. Joy. Jug. Juice. All these words start with the J sound. They all belong to the J family. Now let's say these words again and look at their pictures to see what they mean. Jam. Jam is something you put on bread when you eat it. Jeep. Jeep is a type of car. Joy. Joy is something you feel when you're very happy. Jug. Jug is a container to hold water. Juice. Juice is a sweet drink that is made up of many fruits. Now let's say these words aloud. Pan. Pen. Pick. Pink. Put. 
all these words belong to the p family now let's read all these words again and see what they mean pan pan is something you cook food in pen pen is something you write with pick pick is when you take something from its original place in this picture apples are being picked from the tree pink is a color and this is what it looks like put when you move something from its original place you put it in another place we put garbage in the dustbin let's say these words aloud your yell yellow yes young all these words belong to the y family let's say them again and look at them with their pictures to understand what they mean year 2013 2014 2015 365 days make one year these are years yell yell is when you shout yellow yellow is a color it looks like this yes yes is when you give a positive response to something young anyone who has not lived for a very long time is young let's say these words aloud zebra zigzag zip zoo zoom all these words belong to the z family let's say these words again and look at their pictures zebra zebra is a type of animal zigzag zigzag is a line that is not straight zip zip is something we have to close things zoo zoo is where we keep animals in the city zoom when something moves very fast we say that it is zooming fast pick the odd one out apple banana elephant grapes apple is a fruit banana is a fruit elephant is an animal and grapes is also a fruit so elephant is the odd one out so i am going to circle elephant sunday moon monday friday sunday is a day monday is a day friday is a day moon is not a day so moon is the odd one out rabbit march may april march is a month may is a month april is a month rabbit is not a month that means rabbit is the odd one out bus bottle ship plane a bus is a vehicle a ship is a vehicle and a plane is a vehicle is a bottle a vehicle no which means bottle is the odd one out book eraser cup pen we can use a book while we are studying we can use an eraser while studying we can also use a pen while studying can you use a cup while studying no so cup is the odd one out onion rose tomato carrot onion you can eat tomato you can eat carrots also you can eat can you eat a rose no so rose is the odd one out doctor postman table tailor doctor is a person postman is a person tailor is a person is table a person no that means the table is the odd one out a 
is for apple apple b is for balloon balloon c is for cap app d is for dog dog e is for elephant elephant f is for fish fish g is for grapes grapes h is for helicopter helicopter i is for igloo igloo j is for jug jug k is for kite kite l is for lamp l m m is for moon moon n is for nest n nest o is for orange o orange p is for peacock e cock q is for quilt qu ilt r is for rose rose s is for sheep sheep t is for tomato t tomato u is for umbrella a uh, umbrella v is for violin violin w is for whale w l x is for x mystery x mystery y is for yak y ak and z is for zebra zebra now we have come to the end of the video in this video we solved questions about the story the tailor and his friend